Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we have the Cable Core Lockdown. This is going to be your cable lock designed for your roof mounted applications. We're going to take a look at how to use them, what options you have, as well as how to install them here at eTrailer.com. On your roof rack, you're going to be carrying some important things and they're not just important to you, but other people might want them too. So maybe you have your expensive kayaks, you have your recovery boards, you have your jerry cans. How do you keep them safe while they are on your roof? Well, that's where these cable locks come in handy. You're able to mount the cores to your platform or to your roof rack and then when needed you can wrap your cable lock around your accessory and keep them secure. There are different cable length options for different applications. There's 23 inches long which is good for your smaller items like your shovels or your paddles. There's 47 inches long, which is going to be good for like your recovery boards, your jerry cans, medium sized applications. And 71 inches long, which is good for your larger items like your kayaks, maybe if you want to wrap it around more of your bike with your bike rack. Also included with this is your lock body, your key and your Allen wrench. So this is master key compatible. If you have other Rhino Rack accessories, you can switch out the lock core so that everything matches. Super helpful for other accessories that have locks on them. The Allen wrench is to install the lock body onto your crossbars. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by loosening with the Allen wrench. We're gonna loosen this square nut underneath just enough for it to slide. For your Rhino Rack platform or your Rhino Rack Vortex Aero crossbars or really any crossbars that have a T-Track channel, this slides into them. So if you have it loose, you can just get it into the T-Track channel and then tighten it down with your Allen key. So the cable lock has a closed loop at the end. So this makes it more strategic for using it with your accessories that you want to secure. So the way I do it is I wrap the cable lock around the handles of the can. And then the closed loop goes back over the plate at the end of the cable. And that way it closes in on itself. So now you have a little bit of extra length to go and find the lock body in order to secure your accessory. The cable is eight millimeters in diameter and you can see the braided steel cable makes up most of it, but you also have a PVC coating wrapped around it. So that PVC is helping it stay weather resistant, but also preventing your cable from scratching up your gear. From my personal experience of using cable locks, not just on the roof, but also with like hitch mounted bike racks, I use them most when I'm parked. For example, I'm at the kayak site, I go for a hike, but I wanna make sure that my kayaks are still on my roof when I come back. That's when I put the cable lock around the kayaks and then go for that walk. Because if I have them on my accessories while I'm driving, I am more concerned about that extra contact as well as that extra movement, especially at highway speeds. So just be mindful when using these cable locks. If you do want to use them while driving, try to make sure they're a tight fit, make sure they stay away from areas you don't want extra friction, and if possible, just put them on when you are parked, let's say at the gas station, rest area, campsite, wherever you're going on your adventures. All in all, remember that locks are a theft deterrent and just exercise care when storing valuable items. Hopefully this video helped you out with seeing what lengths you might need for different accessories as well if this is the upgrade you're looking for to keeping your valuable items safe and secure and giving you that peace of mind for your adventures. If you want a more universal cable lock, we definitely have those in different lengths. We also have locking straps, but these are going to be a really good and very unique option for if you want something that works with your roof rack and is more than just a universal lock. 
So this was a look at the cable core lockdown for your Rhino Rack roof rack applications or a roof rack with a T-Track channel. You saw that right here at eTrailer.com.